This work proposes a method for using map information to improve the localization estimate of a particle filter. More specifically, we are working with autonomous ground vehicles and we are using an occupancy grid as our spatial map representation. We are trying to find a solution to issues such as this one, where the localization estimate assumes that the vehicle is in a position that it could not have physically reached. One way to solve this is to use the distance to the road to weight each particle during the measurement of date step of the particle filter algorithm. The method we propose pre-computes the distance to the road from every cell in the occupancy grid to achieve a constant time lookup that has no effect on the time complexity of the particle filter algorithm. We went one step further. We evaluated each particle not only based on how well its current position explained the geometry of the map, but also on how well it explained the geometry of the map in the past. We did this by appending each particle with the last section of an odometry estimate, following the assumption that the trajectory estimation is accurate over a short distance. Let's assume these are the current particles, and this is the last known trajectory. If we append this trajectory to each of the particles, we can clearly see how some of these poses make a lot of sense given my map and trajectory. Meanwhile, some others do not make any sense. Even some of them that were inside of the road might be very bad at explaining how they got there. This one, for instance, makes no sense at all. It's completely out of the road. Meanwhile, this one, while in a fully valid position in the map, would have been impossible to reach. This one, however, makes total sense and should have the highest weight in this set. We tested our method in several ways. The most extreme case is a localization algorithm that only uses map and wheel odometry to localize itself. We went from a localization estimate that slowly drifted away to a robust estimate that managed to achieve loop closure over a distance of approximately 3 kilometers. We also fused this method with a GPS sensor to improve the localization of the vehicle. Finally, remember our first result? It is very robust, but not accurate. And we had another sensor that was the opposite. Very accurate, but fragile. This is an array of 2D lidars. We fused both of them by an algorithm that was accurate whenever our lasers worked properly, but robust when they did not. For more information, please visit us in the presentation of our paper, Map Aware Particle Filter for Localization. Thank you.